In this video, we're going to take a look at client briefs for iMedia. Now, I'm going to go straight into it. What is a client? So, the client is the person you work for. So, they'll tell you what they want you to plan, create, or design for them. Ultimately, it's up to them. So, if they decide that they want something, as much as you could always advise somebody against what they say, you sort of got to go with what they say. Quite a few of my friends, I graphic designers and things like that, have the most problems with people who don't know what they want or aren't sure what they want or have a set idea that's not really feasible. In sort of that situation, as a designer, you've actually got to go and dissuade them and give them alternate ideas to try and sort of get them to your way of thinking. But sometimes, ultimately, you can't do that, and that's when you know you really earn your wage. Now, what's a client brief? So a client brief is a set of requirements that your client will set out for you to complete the project. So it could be, right, we need to fulfill this purpose. So it might be we need to advertise whatever. It wants to run with a certain style or theme. You might have to have a certain amount of content in there or a certain specific piece of content you need. You might have to target a specific audience or might need to follow a specific genre. So if you're a graphic designer, web designer, you've got to make sure that it fills these different constraints almost. And although it's a little bit weird, most of these initial briefs you get will be done either you'll get it at a meeting or you'll be giving it for a meeting. So you'll have to have some form of meeting to discuss these client requirements. So this could be on the phone, this could be online, and this could be face to face. Now an exam question in the past was what should you bring to a client meeting? So Put it saying things like client brief, notebook and stationery, a list of questions, work plan, any design already created, and there was actually a mark that said briefcase. Now, there's a more recent question, I think it was a 2018 exam, where briefcase wasn't on the mark scheme, so I really recommend you don't put briefcase, but that wasn't a previous one. Now, you may also in your coursework, when you do your client requirements, may want to discuss the benefits or drawbacks of the brief you've been given. So all of the briefs of the coursework are all written briefs, which is really good because you've got all the information there in front of you. You'll have all your requirements. If you forget something, you can go back and just look at the piece of paper and say, right, it needs to be A4 for this graphic or it needs to be targeted at this person. And it's really easy for that regard. But if you've got any extra questions for you guys, there is no way of you ringing up OCR and saying, all right, I've got some questions about this. You know, you're, just, you're sort of losing that face-to-face -face element where you can ask more questions, get more clarity, and ask them if you're doing the right thing. So that's probably the one thing that takes the realism a little bit out of doing the coursework. But you may want to discuss that getting a written brief is a good because you've got all those criteria there for you to look at, but you can't ask any questions or anything like that. You may even want to talk about how having a face-to-face -face meeting without taking any notes, you may forget some requirements. Now, the benefits of having a face-to-face -face meeting are that you can discuss any issues that have developed before you go any further. So right at the start, you might say, actually, I don't think this is going to work for X reasons. By asking those questions, you can be clear about what's required. You can discuss the project and make any of your own suggestions. And the client can review your work and provide you with suggestions to help you further. Again, this has been an exam question saying, what are the benefits of holding a face-to-face -face meeting with the client? If you can reel off what I've just spoken about, you're in for a good or five mark answer. Now, going back to what I said a moment ago, when we're discussing client requirements, it can be defined in a bunch of different ways. So you've got a discussion, so that's a verbal um, discussion. So you talk to your client, ask them questions and find out what they want you to do. You might have a written brief, so you read information from your client and all the things they want you to do, plan or create for them. You might have a specification that's been written, so it might be a precise definition a list of all the things that must be done to meet the requirements and then it might be a case of you're just giving a script and saying right you're making an animation or you're making a film that follows this script okay so reading the script helps you understand the storyline characters in the project and allow you to sort of take it from there now most of your client requirements you're going to get should but not all will tell you additional information that's needed such as technical aspects so page size file format they might say this needs to go on a website so it must be a jpeg or a png this is going to be printed out and put on the side of a building and on a billboard or on a dvd cover so it needs to be a scalable vector graphic so 
SVG or a tape or something like that. Um, it might have to have a certain brand or voice, so it might need to sort of tailor to a certain clientele. There might be some copyright or corporate guidelines you might have to follow. You might design a logo, but you've got to follow the company's house style, so you've got to suddenly change all your ideas of colour and design to fit in with the corporate guidelines. You might have to worry about copyright so you don't infringe on anything that's similar. And then think about the platform, is it DVDs, if a web, magazines, and things like that. Now, here's an example of a client brief from a previous exam question. So, there's not been, I've not seen loads of questions in the past, but there's always a client brief. So, with every exam, having a client brief, there's always a chance they may ask you to pick out some features, something like that. So, you're saying that we at Youth want a new multimedia website that is modern in its look, is dynamic and interactive, and appeals to the young people of the local area. The website needs to provide its users with enough information about the youth centre so they know what is happening and when. The youth centre has got a coffee shop, basketball courts, table tennis, computer access and a music studio. It is open every evening, Monday to Friday between 6 and 9 and there will also be visits to other places such as ice rinks and tent pin bowling. The website needs to launch on the 5th of July in time for the summer holidays. We also want to enable people to sign up for email alerts about news and events at youth. Identify four client requirements other than the launch date for the finished website. So pause the video, see if you can answer four marks, four different things that you can see from this client brief here. Okay, hopefully you've answered the question now, you pause the video, so we're going to go on with the answers. So multimedia is a client requirement, the website has to be multimedia, so it means it's going to have videos, pictures, games maybe, it needs to have a modern look. It needs to be dynamic, it needs to be interactive, and the last mark is for you saying include information. But if you just wrote include information, you wouldn't get the point. You need to say include information such as facilities or events. So, including information on events, including information on facilities would get you the mark. Just saying include information or writing text wouldn't work. And that's basically the answers for that question. So, hopefully, that was nice and easy. Client briefs are fairly straightforward, the questions are quite nice. So hopefully you got that and it was nice and interesting for you. Please like the video, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.